Recently, I worked with a client of ours, and this dog is a very uh, reactive dog. But over the course of the past about five or six months, we've been uh, meeting once a month, and uh, as those clients call it, they call it doggy therapy. But we have been working with their dog because it is highly reactive, which means a lot of times uh, people might say uh, aggressive with this dog we uh, started working with it because we came up with a management plan. And I say management plan because when a dog is aggressive or has high anxiety, uh, it, the best way to think of it is think of it like th uh, therapy with people. Somebody who has depression or anger issues, they don't just go away magically. It takes a lot of time, a lot of working, and a lot of management. Now with management, uh, episodes of depression, anxiety, ang uh, extreme anger or anything like that can be minimized and shortened uh, to less extremes but it takes a lot of work and that's the same th that goes with any dog that starts to show aggression signs now I always suggest people as soon as they see signs to get help because the longer it prolongs the more the brain is being rewired for that aggression uh, our brain can get wired for all sorts of different things and so can the dogs so the more that go, longer it goes on, the harder it is to, or I shouldn't say harder, well, a little harder, but also the longer it's gonna take to start really seeing some management. Now with this dog, uh, it does react uh, to people and to dogs, right. uh, but what we were doing was we started watching the dog, started seeing the signs, because there's always signs. Anytime that a dog is going to become aggressive, or upset in any way. There's there we go. always, always, Girl. always a no. sign before. The question it. is, are you looking in the right place? Are you looking at the right thing? Um, so we taught this dog using mm -hmm. operant conditioning to, instead of go after the other dog, look up at the people. We had this command, uh, watch go. me and they basically point to their eyes and the dog had to make eye contact with the owner. Now, this goes into what I, what I, <laughs> I shouldn't say I call, but what is called uh, differential reinforcement. Uh, basically, there's two actions that can't be compatible and what? one is rewarded, there's the difference, one is rewarded, one is not. So, you start rewarding the one you want that's not compatible with the other behavior. In this case, uh, usually the dog will stare for a second or start getting amped up by the presence of another animal or another thing. So we would have them watch the owner because that tended to de-escalate the situation. Once the dog wasn't looking at whatever it was and it felt was antagonizing it or it was uh, getting bothered by, then it would calm down. So we would do this over and over again until the dog was uh, ignoring even high level uh, situations. Now obviously we don't just rush in and throw the dog in with uh, a situation where it's automatically going to fail every time, but we do start testing it. We do get closer. Uh, in the case of this video, uh, the dog in question is going close to a fence of a dog that actually attacked it multiple times because uh, this dog, the, the dog in the fence has escaped on a number of occasions and has attacked this dog. Very in fact, good. one, the last attack was seven days before the video that you're watching now. But we're able to the get the dog to look up and ignore. It's a very long process, but it is a very effective process. Good. Now she's watching you the whole way across the fence. Until I talk. She's like, I didn't look. There. Good. Catching that reaction. Alright.